Mardasi in Tamil Nadu is having 16 branches. We are serving to the people of Tamil Nadu over the 25 years. We had a great support from the Tamil, uh, Tamil people. And this company is <coughs> led by our Honorable Managing Director, Srimati Shailaja Kirangaru. She joined in our company as a Managing Director in the year 1995. She took a lot of efforts to guide us, employees, managers, to give good service to our customers, quick disbursement of prize money. She personally managed everything from corporate office to all of us. And uh, we employees in Maharashtra will get trained by all the time to how to give good service to customers. Our madam also studied from Tamil Nadu only, except a higher secondary school, I think. Her primary school, graduation, post-graduation, all completed by Tamil Nadu. She is very close to Tamil Nadu. So, <clears throat> we request all the media to support us and give good coverage for a good cause. Now, on this occasion of reaching 10,000 crores milestone, to commemorate this occasion, we will launch logo of milestone 10,000 crores, followed by AV. Thank you. Multiple policies and systems we have adopted made us stand tall. We are fully committed to safeguard the subscribers' interests. On the first priority in life, and that I will take this company to a great turnover over 10,000 crores. It's taken me 22 years now, and we have arrived. The first target was 500 crores in the year 95-96, and that was accomplished. And from then on, we never looked back. We understand that members enroll such that they can avail funds when they need it, which is why Mark Darcy ensures that it satisfies them with express payments. A cohesive, comprehensive culture has been the center stage of my strategy. Our collaborative culture is towards we rather than just I. I'm uh, really thankful to all of you for being here this morning. I know you all have a very busy uh, schedule at the assembly. There's a lot of things happening out there, I believe. But still, you all came. Thank you so much. Uh, we also duly deserve some recognition and acknowledgement. Uh, it's taken us a long, long time to get here. Uh, it's almost taken 23 years to achieve uh, 28 times of the turnover that we had in 1995, uh, 383 crores to 10,000 crores. So kindly give us due credibility for it. Um, only as high as I reach can I grow. Only as far as I seek can I go. Only as deep as I look can I see only as much as I dream can I be? And that's what I did as a young woman at the age of 30. And, uh, you know, it finally became fruitful in the year 2018 to achieve 10,000 crores at Martha Sijit Funds. Our strategy was to play to win rather than simply compete and to craft aspirations that will be meaningful and powerful to our employees and also to our subscribers. It was to play to our own unique strengths. Mardar Sichit Fund became a financial boutique and gave very personalized 
solutions to individuals' financial needs. The far-reaching liberation of the Indian economy, coupled with globalization, heralded an era of new opportunities and challenges. Margdarsi enjoyed great reputation for financial integrity and trustworthiness. I realized the potentiality and leveraged it. We reached out to every district of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh and extended our services to lakhs of people in Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. Wherever we went, people told us, why didn't you come before? There were branches where people queued up to join the groups, groups like 10 lakhs, 5 lakhs, tens of them just got over within days. That was the kind of demand that we created by opening the branches of Mark Darsi because of the very strong trustworthiness that the company enjoyed with the people. Our strength really lies in enrolling financially potential subscribers, which is what that enables good recovery leading to being an excellent paymaster. Whatever may be the scenario, there may be uh, financial depression going on and uh, worldwide depression going on, but still at Mark Darcy, we continue to keep up our payments as usual. There will be no change. It is because of our financial integrity and discipline, and at the same time, the kind of members that we pick and choose to enroll in our company who are self-disciplined that enables stability for the company. The beauty of Chit Fund remains that you draw more than you invest, which is the sole reason for people to patronize it. Small savings create enormous wealth over the years. Chit investments can be most beneficial when started early in one's life because when you are 30s going till 40s, your expenses are low and your earnings can be really saved up for the you know, big time expenses that start off from the age of 45 going on till you are 60, 70. So people plan for their children's education, marriages, to buy properties, to make housing, emergencies, to take care of emergencies and also one's own retirement. Chit fund acts as a necessity fund, a benefit fund, and an emergency fund. There's no substitute to chit funds. The most important attribute of the organization culture is genuine respect for the people who enrolled in our company. Marthersi truly remains a lifetime financial partner. We just don't look at a single chit. We look at being with the family for their lifetime, taking care of their every financial need. Money. Chit fund inculcates savings nature and brings about financial discipline, which in turn curbs unnecessary expenditure, creating wealth and takes care of absolutely the most needy financial requirements all through one's life. Chit fund is the only investment which can provide for a person's need for money in time. You may invest in mutual funds, stocks, land, gold, but when you need that hard cash or currency to take care of your big financial need, it is the chit that gives you that amount. We have a team of 700 employees at corporate office governing the branch performance for the code of ethics guiding and monitoring the brand staff towards greater goals. To supercharge the human capital, mentoring and training them was essential 
a detailed nut and bolt lessons and how to deal effectively with different kinds of clients is mastered to the employees. Success doesn't come from what you do occasionally. It comes from what you do consistently. This has been my secret to success. My team is my energy. My managers are taskmasters and they make mission possible. Our agents and employees are very dis disciplined and they do a commendable job on the ground. The employees have displayed enormous spirit over the many decades that we have been in existence and we will remain committed to making the company to be predominant business house and stand out, stand out as being a well-integrated, growth-oriented, with market leadership, operating with a high level of integrity, a great value system, and uncompromising in its goal to achieve results. I want the company to be economically stronger and at the same time a happy large family. Every member is made to feel special at Mark Darcy. We care. That is the secret of our success. Jai Hind. Is there a plan to expand beyond uh, southern markets? If you look at the recent creating a culture of savings and yeah. the financial literacy also seems to be increasing in other parts of the country. Mm -hmm. Of course, Chittas is slowly catching up. Yeah. Is there a plan to you know, sort of expand? The uh, see, as you rightly said, chit fund culture is part of Indian heritage. You know, it was chit funds which were there being the backbone of Indian economy and they still continue to be, if you see, if you look at the unorganized chits that are operated in every gully, you know, every uh, kitty party and every industry, every trading circle, they still stand to be the real backbone, uh, you know. So from, we've been running Marthas Chit Funds last 55 years and we understand that it is very important to take this with a very cautious approach, you know, because chit funds operate with a very small margins and uh, it is, we pool funds from everybody and in turn the fund is being given and then it is recovered to repay again and again. So what we very clearly understand is that we need a very cautious approach and our secret for being so healthy, where we are able to disperse 60% of our payments in the same month and almost 30% of the payments within 15 days. We stand as numero you know, you know, the way we disperse payments, we are excellent by any standard compared to any financial institution in this country. Now, which is because we are very choosy about the enrollments we make, the potentiality of the person, the capability to continue the chit till the chit period terminates, so all these are the reasons, you know, for us to be an excellent paymaster, having a cautious approach. So you said one thing, you said, you know, other financial institutions are inculcating savings habit. No, they are, they are there to disburse funds. They are there to give loans, if you see NBFCs and all that. But savings culture, you know, it is only chit funds that stand to give the savings culture to the communities, very clearly. Because in other institutions, you can either deposit the money or not, but chit is unique. You are compelled to deposit the amount every month, which amounts to higher savings, which amounts to bigger amounts being created by you for the right purpose. You know, when you really need that money of 10 lakhs, 20 lakhs, you have built up the fund yourself. Otherwise, you don't. You put money in the bank, you draw two times. So the money does not get built up. If I am enrolling a member for 5 lakhs, and if I am enrolling a member for 50 lakhs, 
I look at the difference. What is his capacity? What is his, you know, uh, bank statement? What is his income level? What is his multiple income levels? What are his, what are his asset base? So we look at all that. How long he is in business? You know? So we make sure that he has the capacity to pay promptly because in a chit you need to pay promptly every month because the amounts have to be collected and in turn you know paid to another member. Very important for regular payments from the subscribers. Uh, as you rightly said, you know, uh, chit fund since it's been a culture of the of the country, you know, there are innumerable players. You know, it, it's not something that came new to India. So when there are innumerable players, there's, um, there, there's bound to be some indiscipline and resulted in, you know, some failures. But if you look at the organized chit fund industry, as per the data available with the registrars, the failure is 1%. Okay. And see, anything easy sets in easily, you know. See, from, if in Indians from being very savings oriented, from being very... Uh, you know, uh, you know, very cautious with their money, the spending habits. You know, are going through this bad influence of, you know, spending with the credit cards. You know, those who spend over and beyond their, uh, their their revenues, they are paying the penalty for it. They're paying high interest cost for, you know, overspending. So anything good, you know, is tough, and anything bad is easy. I would say that. Uh, the uh, credit card culture is not good, you know, because it makes you spend more. Of course, I know it improves the economy, but as long as you spend within the income levels, but not when you're overspending and when you're paying two rupees interest cost. Uh, yes, uh, to an extent, uh, you know, these, this Western influence has come by and easy to operate, so people have adapted to it, the new generation especially. But if you see the way again, we kept growing, in spite of uh, the credit card companies coming, we kept growing. In spite of the NBFCs coming, we kept growing. So we are very confident that we will keep growing. The organized chit fund industry will continue to grow in spite of no, sp no support from the government, as you rightly said, and also hardly any support from the media also. You know, in spite of the very good job that we do, you know, very rarely we get credit for it. So, which is why I am here today but to Madam, appeal to I'll, you. I'll, I'll pass you here to the first. Yeah, so, it's like, uh, it's like you know, okay, let us do something good and then come, and come to you, you know, to say at least now you give us good coverage. What is, what, I mean, what is the normal ROI for the investor? Uh, see, uh, the unique benefit is that you get to invest for three, four months and then you can draw a big amount. That is the uh, main draw in this chit fund thing, uh, that in case of emergency, in case of sudden necessity, you can always take a big amount. That is one reason why people invest in chits. And if you go on investing, you will get 6 to 8 percent per annum returns. So chits are variable, depends on the chit groups, the members, so that's how it varies. And then if you are well planned and then you draw after the 30th month, your cost of borrowing comes as low as 6% to 9% per annum, you know, cost of borrowing. So which if you if you just start putting in your money and plan it well and draw it, you know, a little later, you are really benefited. And if in case you didn't plan for it and there is an emergency, you draw you have to go and take uh, money from somebody, especially private lenders. They cost you three rupees, five rupees, and even NBFCs they cost you, you know, eighteen percent. And no one gives you for uh, any purpose in your life. NBFCs they give you for certain categories which are defined, but chit amount can be used for any purpose in your life. Two for a company like Mardarsi, which in the with the volumes that we do. Keeping our expenses under control, that is the margin. And delinquents? And this is also partly, actually, to tell you frankly, this is also partly because uh, the company hasn't taken dividends for a number of years, you know. If we look at the 55 years, probably we must have drawn dividends for 15 years, max. So we keep our funds, the management dividends also in the company, which in turn earns interest for the company. So that is also included in this 3.5% that I said. 
So it's really way for thin. So management has to be really good. Um, it, you've got to be focused and very, very, uh, you know, stringent in your operations. That's when you tend to continue. Like any other financial institution, but we are not backed by RBI or Government of India. So we are responsible for public money. We have to be concerned about it. What, what will be your delinquency ratio? Is it delinquency ratio in which you measure your... Uh... I, I didn't get to. No. Is there a delinquency ratio? I mean, people who sign up and who don't pay up. Uh, I mean, uh, the default yeah, ratio. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. What is your default ratio? And like it is 3%, 3%. But our recovery rate is something between 98-99%. The recovery department, almost uh, consisting of uh, 1,500 people, it's a major uh, part of our company. So there is a follow-up every month from the subscriber. So we reach out to the subscriber every month, sometimes two, three times to recover the money. That is how we are able to maintain those standards. Next segment. Yes. What will, how are you going to do that? Are there any significant new approach? Uh, <laughs> Look, uh, see, uh, when uh, 95, we had about 24 branches. So it's taken me this long because I had to build the company. I had to add the branches, reach out to different uh, states, you know. So now we are 105 branches in place. And we'll also add more branches now. So with that, it's going to be possible. And then, you know, back then we were doing mostly Phylax was our biggest, uh, you know, uh, chit value. But now we've gone up to 80 lakhs. So we intend to do one crore also. And we do it only with our old members whose payment pattern is aware to us, whose attitude is very clear, you know. What is the mix between FILAC and sub-FILAC uh, uh, chips uh, schemes? You know, how many, is the, what is the quantum of above FILAC uh, subscriber base? I'm sure that is also playing uh, a role in reaching your... Yeah, it, yes, yes, yeah. It, it is like 20% uh, is bigger value chips. So. But uh, we have huge number of 5 lakhs, 10 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 20 lakhs, huge number of 10 lakh chip groups. So on this expansion beyond South, four states, is that a plan? Uh, no, as I said, you know, recovery is the key to success in chip funds. And there is so much more scope. I can do 20,000 crores in these four states. So once I'm stronger here and fully established, and uh, once there is saturation here, I would look at the other side. Because management gets very, very tough. When we go beyond, if you go, if I open one branch in Punjab, one branch in Calcutta, very difficult for recovery. Uh, I welcome every move, either demonetization, GST, I welcome all of it. Because I see future for India and uh, for the future generations in all the measures that are being taken. So we were very proactive, we were 100% uh, uh, complying, you know, there were a lot of people who said, take the money, we will give it to you, take the cash on that day. I think it was 9th of uh, November or 10th of, uh, 8th of, yeah, yeah, so we said no, you know, we, I think we were given time only till that evening to close operations, we closed. So we are completely law-abiding company because our chairman, you know, Padma Vibhushan, Ramaji Rao Garu, for him, and pride matters a lot. And even before he started a media company, anything he did, he used to comply, you know, the law, law of the land. And um, to answer your question, actually, uh, demonetization, yes, our members have been affected a bit, you know, but they've all, you know, they've all got accustomed, they have adapted, they know that I have been telling openly that you must adapt to whatever the Indian regulation is because that is the way forward for you. You want to see future, you want to grow, then you got to be, you, you got to come into the, you know, streamline. You have to streamline yourself. And uh, our uh, cash collections have gone down, check collections are on the rise after that. It used to be about 45% checks and 55% cash. Now it's almost 60-70%. Tamil Nadu, we have 80-90% check collections, in fact. Or do you, I mean, you pick and choose based on what you think is right? Is it, is it abstract or is it to define the process? It's not at all abstract, you know. We 
we approach people for business, we have a dialogue, we find out what they are doing, we uh, insist on a lot of uh, record for it, your PAN card, your Aadhaar card, all of that without which we don't enroll, it's not just like that. And then the salary slips if you are working somewhere, you know, and if you are doing business, what is your assessment, last year's assessment, and what is your bank statement, and your, you know, memorandum, all of this, you know, what, uh, are you a partnership firm, private limited company, and then we maintain a card X, you know, if you are enrolled, then have you been enrolled already, you know, and if you, how many chits have you taken already, what is your income, so how many chits can you pay, you know, all of this, what are your assets, it has to be very comprehensive, which is why we know, okay, this person can only take one chit, okay, this person can take four chits. And mind you, we don't give 40 chits. Huh? There are people who have come and said, okay, we are, we are interested in 40 chits, 50 chits. I said, thank you very much. Even if you're big. Because I know it can lead to a mess, so I want to avoid it. So we bank on more membership rather than just single member taking too many chips.